I, I should tell you this one. That, All right. Uh, tell, me, tell me, go. Mid 90s, 96, 97, I was doing, um, I was stage managing like a McGaffey, uh, they're a, a metal promotion company. Yeah. And one of their shows at CB's. And one of the bands that showed up was called Verbena. And they, they were from, I think they were from Birmingham, Alabama. For some reason, Dave Grohl was playing bass. Huh. So they walk in. Dave's like moving. This is Nirvana. Up. This is Nirvana bigger than life. Yeah. And he's like pushing a bass amp in. And, and I'm like, that's Dave Grohl. So anyway, they get on stage to sound check, and uh, he's like, "Oh, I don't have a pick, man. Somebody got. I gave him one of mine with my name on it, and it says Iggy on the the other side." Yeah. He's like, "This is an Iggy Pop pick. How'd you get this?" I said, "I'm. I play with him when I'm not doing crap like this." And he was like, "You lucky bastard!" <laughs> That's great. I was. I was like, I'm, "I. I don't have. I'm not a millionaire." This was during or after Nirvana? It was it was somewhere it was after Nirvana. It was oh, it's, okay. It, it was 96 or 97. So it must have been either when the Foo Fighters had just started or just breaking yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. Dude, thank you so much. We'll uh hopefully cross paths someday. Yeah. You have a good one. I'll see you on Facebook for sure. Yeah. All right. See you. Thank you.